Alright people, welcome back to the card review. Today we are looking at Fight for March. You guys might have heard Vex and Kiss talk about it, Mega Capital G talk about it, Drew talk about it, but now you gotta listen to me talk about it, alright? But, in the end, I'll probably just say the exact same things that they said. Eh, eh, oh well, let's go ahead and do this. So, Fight for March, Fight for March. Uh, how do I feel about Fight First? They're okay. You know, I, I feel like they're a much more balanced fusion deck than freaking Shadals, just because I can't stand fusing from the, the deck. I think that's one of the dumbest mechanics that you could possibly do when fusing. It's it's like with freaking Necros with their mirror, where you could tribute from the graveyard by banishing. It's like, what? You know, it's just like, it, I guess in that sense, it would just be like a miracle fusion. But, you know, I with these mechanics, you're supposed to neg, and that's what I understand. When you choose in UXC, you synchro, you neg, you, you use resources for more powerful monsters. That's the whole gist of them. It's like, it's risk versus reward. Like, yeah, you're using more resources, but you're getting a more powerful monster in exchange. And I think that's the reason why I like Fry First. Now, if, of course, they ever get their own freaking Fuse from the Deck card, then not only will that be super unhealthy, because we have cards like freaking Tiger and Wolf, who would just wreck house. But, uh... I probably wouldn't like them as much, but I really, really do like Fret First so far. I mean, I don't mind them. I don't mind them. I don't like that they're so reliant on Tiger, because it just seems like if you if you ain't Tigering, if you're not destroying with Tiger, then you're not getting really anywhere, you know? Your attacks aren't too high. So, you know, if your opponent summons like a Beals, GG, you know? So, uh, anyway, they have another card, and they finally have their own Counter Trap card. So... Let's see if this counter trap card is so good that people want to go ahead and hit it down to one even though it's not really doing anything like fucking Nova and Tellers. I'm sorry, I, I just don't understand why people want that card to hit. It's not even what makes Tellers good. Not even what makes Tellers good. People say that and then nothing else. Like, really? Nothing else. You don't think anything else. You don't think that triple trip is that broke? Like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, fuck the triple chair. Fuck you just returning all my shit back to my hand and then poking me for 21 three fucking times. And then recycling your called hunters and wastes. No. As long as you have that fucking Nova that you can't search for, then I... Alright, I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry. I'm just like... I, I don't get what people think about that card. Anyway, we are looking at Fight for March today. I've seriously got off topic in this video. Hello? So, Fight for March. It is a counter trap card that reads... When your opponent activates a monster effect or spell trap that targets the fight for monster you control, then get the activation if you do destroy it. And then you can send one of those targeted fight for monsters to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon a level 8 or higher fight for a fusion monster from your extra deck, or banish it during your next end phase. The special summon is treated as a fusion summon. So, what do I think about this card? Because you know, you have people like Mega Cap OG or it's like, oh, it's good, but you really don't utilize it. And you have people like Drew who's like, oh, I wouldn't even run this card. I'd rather run uh, Forbidden Lance. I think this card's pretty good. And if I was running Fire First, I'd run it. Because targeting is well, probably one of the key things. Not really, but it's one of the things that happens with Fire First. Uh, of course, uh, you're running a fusion deck, so generally people are going to go ahead and try to compulse you. Yeah, that's a given. Uh... The presence is not as popular, but definitely, you know, since it says uh, monster effects that targets you, definitely a 101 or a Castell will probably be coming your way. So, it's nice to go ahead and be able to just be like, nope, block, you know, which of course is something that Forbidden Lens can't do, Drew, so, yeah, you know, you can have all the Forbidden Lenses you want if I'm gonna fucking 101 or Castell your, your uh, Fright for Fusion. Sorry, no. <laughs> but, uh... It's cool that you get to go ahead and block anything that targets you. Spell trap and monster effect. It of course is a cannon trap. Spells be three, and I like that it's um its second effect is optional. I like that too. So um, they have to do it like oh well this card is gonna be shit because you have to do it like no it's optional. You can go ahead if you don't want to uh destroy your fight for and summon a different one then just go ahead and just negate the activation that target you destroy it. But then, if you want to, if you choose to, you can go ahead and send your Fight for a Fusion monster uh, to the graveyard and then summon a level 8 or higher. Now, there aren't a, level, a lot of level 8 or higher. Uh, definitely the one that I was thinking of was uh, Fight for a Chimera, which, of course, doesn't get any play because it's just too damn hard to summon three Fight for monsters. I mean, I know Fight for have their own, like, Miracle Fusion card, but you have to have three Fight for monsters already in the graveyard and play the Miracle Fusion card. It's like, it's like, it's like doing Contrast Hero Chaos. It's just like, eh. You know, it's, is it good? Yeah, but it's kind of difficult to summon. So, uh, it's been a while, but 
you know, fight for Camaro, 2800 beater. He is level, it is, I would say he, it is level 8. Uh, has like an amazing effect of the attacks, and then uh, when it destroys the opponent's monster into, by balance of the graveyard, uh, you can special summon it to your side of the field, but his attack is halved, you know? It gains 300 attack for each monster you control that is owned by your, your opponent this way, so, uh, you know, it's not terrible. It's kind of like a uh, our Mabey's Goyo Guardian. So yeah, you can go ahead and uh, you know block a card that targets you. Uh, send your uh, your fight fur and then summon this. So, but the only problem is, of course, this card will be banished during your next end phase. So, yeah, that's the problem. But there is another card that was in the anime that people have been talking about, and if that would go off with fight fur march, if this card has actually came out. And they animate just like this, then the Fright for March would be much better. So, the card we're actually looking at, so you get a double review. This is actually Fright for a Saber Tiger, but this is not only the anime. You can clearly see by the art, uh, Sora is holding the card. Oh, can't talk about the anime, I'm gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> Hello. But, uh, it is a uh, Dark Fiend Fusion Effect Monster, level 8, 2500 attack, 2000 defense. So, like I said, it is level 8, you can go and summon it. Uh, it's Fusion Materials is one level six or higher fright for monster plus one or more fluff will or edge and monsters but we don't care about that because we're just going to be summoning it off of fright for monsters which of course counts as a fusion summon so uh let's go ahead and look at the effect so this card is fusion summon like i said this is the anime effect this card is fusion summon you can target one fright for monster in your graveyard special summoning ignoring ignoring its summoning conditions so let's say i have a you know a tiger on the field and i have this and i have my march set you go ahead and play 101. Activate your effect, target me. I go chain march. Negate and destroy you by and then I would go ahead and use my second effect, a march. I'm gonna send my my tiger, summon fright for uh saber tiger, which of course does count as a fusion summon, so when speed summon I could target your fight for a monster in my gear, special summon ignore summon comes in. So I can just summon the tiger that I just uh sent to the graveyard. So I get an additional monster, of course. Uh, you know, my saber attack will still get banished during my next end phase, but still, I didn't neg. You know, I summoned a monster, and I still get to keep a monster. I get to summon an additional beater, but that's not it. Uh, all fire fur monsters you control get 400 attack for each fluffle and fire fur monster you control. And then a fusion monster that's used as a fusion cannot be destroyed by blank card effects, because I think Sora's fingers in the damn way, so you can't read. But I'm assuming that I'm assuming that it's just like a monster that's fusion summon. Uh, a fusion summon monster that used this card as a fusion summon monster cannot be destroyed by something card effect. I don't know, but uh, you if you have this and you have tiger, I mean this card it counts itself. It's a twenty four with the other five for monster you're summoning. It's gonna be a thirty two beater, you know. So thirty two beater plus the additional uh, four hundred that you're gonna be given the other five for monster that you summon through this effect. It's not bad, you know. You got some powerful beaters. That's some nice uh, damage. So, if this card ever came out, and like I said, it, and it has a similar to effect to the way that it has now, then March would be much better. But for right now, um, I'd say March is not a terrible card. I'd probably run it, just because, you know, I would get sick and tired of my Fright Furs getting cast out in 101 all the damn time. But right now, targeting is not really that popular. Uh, it's more just really broad destruction, like Dark Holes or Gekis and Mirror Force. And so, maybe if the times change, then maybe possibly, you know. Maybe if we started going back to D-Prison instead of Mirror Force, and, you know, if it was about the Compulse, but right now, it's not really looking like it. But still, not a terrible card. I have no complaints for this card. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So I guess I'll go ahead and call that episode of Card Review. Sorry I got off topic. I, I'm, I'm just so fluttermined right now. I'm just thinking about a whole bunch of different things. Uh, you know, I was working on my uh, part two of my ban list production. I need to come back to that, of course. I'm just, literally, I'm just waiting for OCG's list. Once I see what they do with Necros and their hits, then I can go ahead and make my thoughts accordingly. So, I'm just going to wait. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode card review. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.